morning, good morning. Last night, we had a storm. Did not sleep as well as I was planning. Um, anyone needing an update on my bowel problems? Still looking real grim. Happy Monday. Even poop soup cannot take away my happiness and love of Mondays. I just love a good Monday. Starting over, starting fresh. What am I gonna do on this Monday? I'm gonna make my bed. no decorative pillows on my bed because I realized real quickly if I don't make my bed they just sit on the floor next to Mike's clothes however I am shopping for a new bed so whenever I find a new bed I'm sure I'm gonna be really excited and I'll buy like new throw pillows just what I need but for real I am looking for a new bed this one will go it's just real dark I love it I love the style it's a restoration hardware dupe um, but it's just really dark and I want to go light, light hardwoods, possibly caning. I love caning. Um, so yeah, if y'all have any good bed wrecks, let me know. <laughs> just running. Which is great. Run, run, run! Keep going, keep going, keep going! I want to rest. You want to rest? <laughs> Berkeley! Where's my bike? Hold on. Did Berkeley go to Best Buy dressed like that? Uh huh. I, I have a. I have For real? A hey, mommy! I see that. Mommy, Daddy dressed I you. I have my bike. Daddy dressed you. I have my bike. It's horrible. <laughs> You're a nut. <laughs> Take a bite. Take a bite of that jello. Okay. What does it taste like? Um, Berkeley made that. Um, made that. Berkeley made that. <laughs> Haley's like, I'm such an influencer because she influenced me to get a ninja foodie. And the first thing I'm cooking in here is corn dogs for myself. They were too cold when I took them out of the oven. So we're going to pop them in here. I don't think it's going to need nine minutes. But yeah, probably not. Haley says it's got to heat up and stuff. So I'm really excited. I'm going to make fried, gluten-free fried chicken in here for dinner. Mark my words. I got I to gotta go to grocery delivery, but then I'm going to do it. So obviously I'm not an expert on this machine yet since I just got it and the first thing I cooked was half cooked corn dogs but the cool thing about this is that it's an air fryer and a pressure cooker at the same time so like i'm going to gift away my instant pot to a family member because this has it in it so i don't need my instant pot anymore and then we also got an air fryer that just got in last week and we're going to take that to the coffee shop so this is just a good all-in-one the best part about it is that you don't even notice it it's such a small thing you barely notice it Haley said it looks like a transformer. <laughs> no, you said no. Oh, maybe I said that. <laughs> it looks like a Star Wars character. No, a Star Wars character. Transformer. It looks like it's just going to transform off the counter. I mean, that's true. I'm starting this week's purge before I show you guys the hanging of the jeans. I found this. I used to wear this like in public. What the heck? I have actual hair growing out of one of my mountainous zits. What are you doing? You can't stay here and be growing hair. Please step into my closet. Let me give you some organizational tips. Okay, how I hang my jeans. I first showed this a couple years back in the old house um, because I did not have a large closet, but I had a ton of wall space. So I grabbed an old curtain rod, like a really small one. You get a TJ Maxx, Ross, Target, wherever, kind of 
have a smaller, thinner curtain rod. You mount it into your wall so it'll hang like, you know, this way. And then I put the hooks on this. Now in this house, I have this high bar. I don't own a lot of dresses and cardigans. So I just have that little chunk and then the rest I'm giving it um, to my jeans, my pants, um, my shorts go on this one. I do the same thing for my shorts over on this little side. There's scarves underneath it. Kind of funny, huh? Shorts over scarves, huh? Okay, so I take, see the button on your pants? I take the second belt loop hole and I put it over the shower curtain hook. That's all these are, are shower curtain hooks. I have ones that look like they belong in a little five-year-old girl's bedroom because that's what they were. They were shower curtain hooks for my daughter's bathroom and I ended up not using them and I just reused them for in here and I really ended up loving them because ain't nothing falling off of these hooks because it's got this big thing on it. Um, I also have these little T-hooks, same thing. They're great because nothing ever falls off of them because it's stopped. Thing. Um, I can fit, you could probably fit like four pairs of pants because they're so big, but like here's one with two. I did order some with two sided hooks. I've got those linked as well on my shop the blog. Um, and I'm going to try them out. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them because I don't know if that the hook in the back, if the pants on it will get hidden. I don't know. We'll have to see. Whereas on this one, if you just layer them up, you can see they they just lay perfectly flat. So, anyways, I've got like three different options for you on shower hooks. And my parents said I'd never use my fashion merchandising degree. Just kidding. They didn't say that. I actually said that. But this is exactly where this is from. I used to work for Zara and then Forever 21 before I had kids. And I was the merchandising manager. So I was over the team that would take all the plans from corporate and then like make them work for each individual store. And so we always had to get innovative about like how to hang mass product, but it still looked really pretty. And this was actually a Forever 21 steal. I love it. It works great. a lot of foolish things that I really didn't mean. <laughs> I finally did what I said I was going to do like a month ago. I made buttons for the styling tutorials. There's something, something going on. The styling tutorials, um, you guys can go to my profile and there will be a button that says styling tutorials. <laughs> you can click on that and all the ones that I've done so far are saved. I also made a gluten-free, dairy-free button. I'm going to get my blood drawn uh, tomorrow, hopefully. So that button might be getting a lot larger. We'll see We'll see how the results come in um, and how my levels are looking. But anything gluten-free, dairy-free, um, my supplements that I'm taking. I thought my, my tripod was covering the microphone. Anyways, um, also the vitamins that I have shared before with the little packets. I'll also um, save that to the gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, these are the care of vitamins or like a little quiz that you go on. The quiz is free, by the way. So if you swipe up, you can take the quiz absolutely for free. It gives you the results and everything, what you would get um, if you did sign up to get them delivered to you monthly. Um, so I will also put those there. Also, I take the, co the vegetable collagen um, from them and I had no idea that you put it in coffee until I read the instructions. Oh, it's gonna be backwards. Mix two steps, two scoops in eight to 10 ounces of hot coffee and stir. I mean, it's tasteless. So I was like putting it in water, but I still didn't love it. And I was reading it like a week later and I'm like, you put it in coffee. I do still have an active um, code with care of. It's redhead50, it'll get you 50% off your first order. Um, so I'll put that here and you can swipe up and it should automatically be discounted. Why am I having problems? I will also add some of my food picks and recommendations to that button. <laughs> so those of you who like it, you're really going to like this highlight because I got the supplements, the food, the vitamins, all the things gluten-free, dairy-free. And then as I keep trucking along on um, my styling tutorials, I'll add those to that button. It has, it has its own little button. I haven't done a new button in quite some time, only the funnies, but um, all that's there on my profile, navy blue dots. I 
used to write humor essays, like long lists, kind of like BuzzFeed style. But anyways. It's like long lists, kind of like BuzzFeed. So now. Hi, my name is cute. <laughs>